Hi everyone and welcome back to part 5 of a series Employee Payroll Management System and in this tutorial we are going to show you how to add date and time to your J form or in our case we are going to add it to our login and we are going to place it in the menu bar so <clears throat> head over to your NetBeans but before that if you are new to this channel or new or you just watching this video I highly recommend that you check uh, my previous videos um, on how to create a login, whatever. Uh, link will be in the description box below. So let's head over to our project and under here, swing menus, we're gonna drag and drop a menu bar just like that and then we're gonna have a menu we're gonna drop it near the edit and we're gonna call it time and then the edit we're gonna say it's date and we're going to rename the variable to LBL date and the second one for the time will be LBL time so you're going to go ahead and save that and go to your source, source code under the imports we're going to import three things you're going to import the calendar so import java.util.calendar and the second one will be import java.util dot date and third one will be java dot util dot georgian date uh, georgian calendar sorry and then you're gonna go here just under here you're gonna create we're gonna create a uh, a method you're gonna call it public void current date and we're going to write our code in here so <coughs> we're going to say calendar we're going to say cal equals a new Jurian calendar and we're going to say int month equals cal.get calendar the month obviously and uh, then we need an int for the year equals cal dot get calendar dot year and then int day equals cal dot get calendar dot day of month and then you're gonna do this you're gonna do label date we're gonna obviously display the date in our label that we cr created in our menu bar uh, so the set text and then we're gonna do this we're gonna say month plus one and then we're gonna go here and do plus and then we're going to say plus the day plus backslash and then plus the year and save that go in here under your initialize components and then you say current date go ahead and save that, right click here, run and let's check it out and uh, there you go, there's the date and now let's do the time we're gonna go in here and we're gonna write the time, so int second equal cal dot get calendar dot second <coughs> and then int minute equals cal dot get calendar dot minute obviously and hour equals cal dot get calendar dot hour obviously and then we're gonna do it so label time dot set text we're gonna do hour ah sorry we're gonna do hour plus plus 
minute plus plus second and go ahead and save that right click here run and there you go this is the time in here and there you go thank you for watching this tutorial uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for part six seven eight till whatever till the end <laughs> till we finish this project uh see you later